Hey guys, I got cut off there, so it looks like I'm a little bit long-winded. I'm sure you guys already knew that. Uh, however, that was news to me. So I'm going to quickly wrap up our lecture lesson, get to your assignment, and make sure that I only talk uh, for the allotted time moving forward. Okay, uh, so here we go. Let's uh, pick this up here. Uh, mislabeling goods, that's also illegal. Uh, you cannot uh, make it more attractive uh, for a customer to buy, even if your product is not that good. Uh, this includes altering packaging to make things appealing. Say like somebody were to bring something back in and the packaging was just absolutely positively atrocious, uh, cleaning up the outside to make the inside look better. <clears throat> that's no good. It's sort of like uh, taking a damaged uh, motherboard and putting it in a brand new looking piece of hardware. Uh, that's also an illegal practice. Uh, also, you need to put warning labels on things when the consumption or use of them could be dangerous. Um, you know, like uh, you know, ingesting this particular product uh, could cause uh, severe severe damage, like uh, any type of household chemical or things like that. Okay, here are a list of other <clears throat> uh, other methods of unfair competition. Uh, these are by no means exclusive. These are just the ones I thought that you should know and become familiar with. Um, and now finally, your assignment. Uh, so again, we'll have two formative and one summative assessments uh, this week moving forward. We'll see how everything goes. Uh, the summative assessment is definitely necessary this week as we are at the end of the unit. So I'd like you guys to think about <clears throat> or read one of the two. Think critically about evidence at the end of 15-1. In my textbook, it's page 271. It could be different for you. Uh, I'd like you to choose one of those two options and then reply to the Think Critically About Evidence Chapter 15-1 writing prompt that is available for you on Google Classroom, okay? Uh, that basically concludes uh, Chapter 15-1 for today. Uh, we will finish up 15 tomorrow, and I hope, guys, this is the start of a um, uh, interesting and productive and fun and all things positive experience for you guys as we move forward and push past this uh, this unprecedented time. So thanks guys for your time. And if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me, whether email or text or phone call. Uh, my phone number is in the syllabus that I attached on Google Classroom on day one. So if you need to get a hold of me, please don't uh, hesitate uh, to do that. I will certainly uh, be available for you moving forward. And as always, um, as long as it's not while I'm sleeping. Okay. <laughs> so I'll talk to you guys later. Have a great time.